United Cypher presents. I'm Travis. Uh, this over here is D Hart. This is Evan. Um, hi. Yeah, sorry, I didn't give you time, guys, time to say hi. It's but, okay. Uh, you're, so you're hosting now. I know. So. I'm not hosting. I was about to hand it off to you because he's, I don't know what we're he's talking a guest about. Host. Yeah. Travis yeah. is the guest host. <laughs> I have no idea. Head what we're dancer, about. the lead dancer at United Cypher. It's from his the tiny dancer. His Paramount and uh, World <laughs> Crossing videos, Ultra Teen Wolf. Ultra Teen Wolf. I'm glad you remember that one. And what else? What are some uh, other ones? Thousand cigarettes video. One thousand cigarettes video. That one German dude was like, I like it a lot. And I think he was like... Weird, but whatever. He was plotting eating you one day, inviting you over to his house and then cooking you for dinner. Yeah, as long as like I get to watch... IT crowd. I was going to say, as long as I get to watch that movie first with a twist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like he said, this Travis and then Mike and then D-Hard. I'm Evan. I'm D-Hard. You call yourself <laughs> yeah, D-Hard. You call me Mike. I'm, I'm D-Hard. You can be Mike, too. Uh, Mike D. Well, it's just not good. At least they didn't mess uh, up my name. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, because all this stuff can be completely edited out, like... Alright. <laughs> so, uh, we got stuff to talk about, like we do. We talk about things and we go, hey, that's interesting, or wouldn't it be funny if blah? Well, now we're, uh, <laughs> we're just going to talk about four things in particular, and then we're going to get into our feature segment, The Situation. Uh, first of all, DR brought this to my attention, and I found it interesting. Uh, it's talking about Dr. Pepper being uh, pro evolution. How could a beverage be pro evolution? Explain that to me. Well, they just show, you know, it, they start off with monkey, and then it's like a, a kind of monkey guy with, with a Dr. Pepper, and then it's like, oh, I'm fully human with a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's really not... So without so Dr. Pepper, you can't, <laughs> there is you no can't ev evolve. You have to have soda. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Yeah. Pepper was yeah. dropped upon our planet by the great Xoxes Empire from Planet 2-9. Well, and it made us evolve that, into that higher beings. The, the, the unusual flavor. Well, yeah, it's not root beer, it's not soda, it's just kind of like, hey. Well, I mean, it does come from a doctor. If we evolved from Mr. Pibb, he's not a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pibb has, has no, none of the certifications no. to, to help no create PhD. something co as complicated as evolution. No okay. Let alone a soda that tastes like root beer and soda simultaneously. I can philosophically explain that we could not have evolved from Mr. Pibb. Because before Dr. Pepper, there was no man. No man equals no mister. No uh, Mr. Pibb. Completely throw that out of the equation. Right. Hey, hey, okay. okay. <laughs> I want to quote uh, a line from the article we're referencing here, which we'll put. Uh, it's on, It was on NPR. I'm sorry we're linking NPR articles because they're total oh, chill no sellouts. <laughs> but this is basically an ad for them on the... Uh, for Dr. Pepper on their website, honestly. Yeah. They started taking ads, and it's disgusting. Anyway, I like this quote particularly well. I ain't no freaking chimp. No more Dr. Pepper for my household. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I hear him say it. Like, <laughs> what, they, oh, yeah. they, they have the, so how do you feel about Dr. Pepper, the person, yeah, typical yeah, interviewee yeah, from, from NPR. And they walk up to this guy, he's like, I ain't no freaking chimp. <laughs> You know he probably Dude. didn't say freaking. I ain't no fucking chimp, man. I'm a fucking good old NASCAR fan in the United States of America. That's what I am. I ain't no goddamn monkey. I ain't getting no monkey runs from smashing bananas up in the goddamn jungle. I ain't no chimp. That's, yeah, that's no all more Dr. Pepper. I had to bring in the monkey yeah. runs. That was all, a, all the seeds and real, banana, real bananas that like grow out in the wild are yeah. full of seeds. Apparently. I don't know. I've and, never uh, seen one. And, uh... You know, they give, I mean, you, they give you the, the, they give the you monkey runs. They give you the monkey runs. It's like monkeys would smash them up, and I'm sure they eat it when they're all dirty, shitty, nasty hands. They get monkey shit. It's like yeah. talking like <laughs> explosive monkey diarrhea. Great. I'm glad In I the that. future, we'll use monkey diarrhea or monkey runs for propulsion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like rocket through roofs. When I, when, I, when, you're, when you're a grandpa and you head down to the store, you'll say, I'm going to pop up on a monkey run. Get me some chips and a, <laughs> chips and a pop and maybe even a bar. A bar. Hold on. I'm going to get me a chip. I'm going to go get me some chips, a pops, and maybe even a bar on my monkey run. I just like saying monkey runs. 
<laughs> on my monkey run. That, that'll be the next uh, horse that wins the Kentucky Derby. Monkey run. It's monkey run. Carrying on the corner. And it's monkey run for the win. All right. Uh, I'm over this already. Yeah. It's basically a bunch of Christian people doing what Christian people do best. Or just I mean, overreacting to it. Overreacting a, to everything. A simple little ad. And there's a there's a whole story about overreaction that's supposedly sweeping the globe right now. But I, there's no reason to talk about it because it's just as bullshit as this. Um, but so yeah, any, any closing <laughs> comments on this? I just think it's really funny that not only not only no Dr. Pepper for him, the interviewee, yeah. but no more Dr. Pepper in my household, so no one else is allowed either. Yeah, apparently I, just, I don't know. I think that's funny. Apparently, corporations Shitty, just have influence. to be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> corporations have to be concerned about offending religious people, I guess. Now, because if you oh, offend yeah, a religious course. person, they're going to sue you. Because this course. is America, the most litigious nation in the entire fucking world. <sighs> Oh, uh, what else do we got going on here? Um, before we jump into the the, hit, the the Berlin banning hipsters article, which I think is a great one, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, jump ahead to this one, which Travis has had no prior knowledge of. Yeah, I, uh, I'm he still, saw me. I'm still I, looking away from the article. Yeah, you know, no. Um, now I'm going to read you the title. This is from okay. one of our favorite websites, FARC. They're a news aggregator, and people send them news, and they post this shit online. Usually, it's pretty entertaining. And this is. Uh, this is definitely good because it involves one of my favorite shows. I'm sure all of us like it. Mythbusters. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, it's a great show. Even though the announcer makes me want to cut off my fucking testicles <laughs> yeah. and mail them to the president. He is pretty... Um, uh, his cheesy one-liners almost uh, besmirch you. Like, there's so much just so polished and terrible. I, I, I can't keep up with that. Yeah, you can't. There's no way I, you can Oh, well, I, I might be able to if I had, like, you know, a hours and hours to just... <laughs> well, look if, out. If that were my whole job, it's like, I'd be... I think I could write that and... And perform those stupid voiceovers. So this guy, in this article, the picture of him, he's, he's got a face and a head like a giant fucking uh, urban lion. Like <laughs> he does huge look curly awful. mass of hair. It looks like me, but if I let myself go in like 10 or 20 years. He's all red-faced, and this is the title of the article. Man in Fort Pierce refuses sobriety test. It says, I've done seen it on the Mythbusters. <laughs> on the Mythbusters. Man being questioned in a DUI investigation smelled the booze and told deputy he's, deputies he's not taking a sobriety test. Or not taking no sobriety test, I should say. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I've done seen it on the Mythbusters. This, this guy said, I'm not going to say his name out of respect for this lion headed asshole. Uh, so <laughs> he got caught drinking and driving, and just because he's, for some reason, seeing it on Mythbusters makes it okay to. Which, do. which I don't think they ever had a, they, an episode about the. Well, they did have an episode on the effects of drunk driving. Yeah. On, the, on the effects of drunk driving and. Like, also comparing that to cell phone usage and seeing how similar those two things are. What is he exactly seen? Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, what did you see that makes it legal? What did he see on there? Okay? Well, it's okay, man. They, they drove drunk on Mythbusters. That was a TV show. It's fine. I'll just do it myself. <laughs> I just like, got down with my beer over here at Applebee's. Maybe I'm going to go get me some fucking pussy next. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's going to be railing some he was, awesome shit. He chicks. totally was leaving Applebee's. And you know, apparently he only had one beer. That's what he said. He Look at his can. face. I just had one beer, man. One times twelve. Yeah. One what? times twelve was one, ain't it? It was just one beer, but it was in a sixty-gallon drum. <laughs> I only had one one gallon of beer. I had one, <laughs> I one gallon. <laughs> but, the, the, but the real t the, the topper, oh, yeah, just one. The topper yeah. to the whole thing is yeah. that it it almost <laughs> seems fake because it said. Uh, you think like, it's an advertisement for Mythbusters? Well, is what you're well they explain the whole show of Mythbusters. That's like an so it is an the, advertisement. That's, a, that's the middle part of the. This the, guy probably didn't even say that. They can just take your drunken police photo Busters. and put it anywhere they want. You see those newspapers around? Uh, they sell them in Louisville, crime yeah, crime, Louisville crime, front, crime. where you used to be living. Crime they they sell them here right now. now too. They sell them here too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, and it's, they plaster the faces of criminals, which a lot of them are. I guess you could say criminals because they. Yeah, but there's the a lot of dumb reasons that people. How can you put someone's there. face on a magazine? It's like they're just, just like, like with this well, guy. Just using it for a fucking advertisement. You have no rights now, so here we're gonna put your face on a magazine. They finish it off with the punchline that. It's like just like on MythBusters, he was busted. Oh uh, my god! In charge of DUI. You know what? <laughs> sure the, I want to pretend we didn't even just bring up the story because this is obviously an ad. The last two have been ads for Dr Pepper and fucking MythBusters. It's shameful what's happened to media. Shameful. You should be ashamed of yourselves. NPR especially. Oh, this beverage is pissing off Christians. Who gives a shit if it's pissing off people? We used to piss off people all the time. Now it's against the fucking law, or it's newsworthy. It's dumb. It's so fucking dumb. We have no freedom of speech. It's obvious. Fuck politics, though. Stupid. Pointless. Anyway, 
Uh, what do you think about his gigantic head? Man, it's bad looking. Uh, I mean, coming from us, <laughs> we're not exactly say. we're not exactly a group of handsome guys. No. We're saying this guy's a chud. So watch yourself. Uh, don't blame anything on TV because that shit doesn't work anymore. You just get uh, masters of assholeism. Like I thought of a. Like I, I just thought of a, a dating site for for folk like for people like that are falling yes. apart. Chud hub. <laughs> chud hub. <laughs> chud hub. <laughs> That way, you know, they could all they could all get together. You know that everyone... Some domains like chubby.chudhub. Well, or or, or fangs. Anybody Anybody who would, you know, willingly put, like, their dating profile on Chudhub, yeah. you know, like, you know the, something's you know. fucked up with them. Number one, it's you're like, going there, your standards are dropped. Number two, you're wants. posting on there, you have no standards. And three, you're a Chud. Yeah, and you, and you, know, you it, know it, you're, you're aware. Right. <laughs> no, because, yeah, you're king of the Chuds. I can't get anyone else, so I, I could well be king here. of the Chuds. <laughs> if I were king of the Chud <laughs> side. Chudhub. Yeah, Chudhub.com. Oh. All the ugly fucks go to fuck fucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we got we got two more things to talk about. We got to blaze through this stuff, man. Come on, yeah, blaze, yeah. blaze. Uh, we're, well, we're at ten minutes already. Let's talk about what Berlin's doing. A lot of people would agree with this. Uh, and apparently, all the tourism they're getting is pissing them off. But it's not okay. It's not just tourism. It's a specific kind of tourist. Guys, they're going against Travis. Well, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're going against hipsters. Uh, whatever a hipster is. Uh, I looked into this, and we've got that article also pulled up, but. Uh, apparently, uh, Berlin, Berlin got so popular that all these trendy hipster dick bags just showed up and is pissing everybody off. They even they're like going around and saying, "Hey, we don't want hipsters here," even though they host the hipster Olympics. Apparently, apparently uh, that's what? a real thing. <laughs> the hipster Olympics is a real thing. What do one. you do? <laughs> what do you do at the hipster Olympics? Yeah. I don't know. I have no fucking. Of course, clue. you don't know. Um, but, yeah, apparently stickers are posted around Britain, let's, or Britain, wow, Berlin that say, we don't need you here. Ber Berliners don't love you, hipsters. No, they don't want hipsters, they don't, if you wear flannel, I guess, or what. Okay, this whole article, the fact that they're, Berlin is trying to be prejudiced against uh, a, a slang word that can be easily applied to pretty much anybody you see out one day. You're like, oh, he looks like a hipster. Oh, but we should kick him out. Mm. They're going to make hipsters wear yellow stars next? Anyway. Well, yeah, no um, I think what you do is you give them a test. Yeah. It's like you uh, ask a few questions. Okay. Like, well, this is a this is part of the hipster term is part of contemporary subculture. And I want you to tell me what you think a hipster is, and we're going to read it from the Wikipedia entry, which we okay, all know is uh, word. Yeah, that's the most sure. Most, uh, In relation to to Berlin, it's someone who owns lederhosen, but wears them, you know, ironically. Like, yeah. Oh. Anybody who does anything, I'm not. I'm not asking for Berlin's hipster. I'm talking about like well, you the know, actual and, definition. Well, well, what you think? You, you it pulled is. it out of that. It's like anybody who who does something well, just for irony. Is thing. that why? Is that what it I is? I think so. Is it jaded? Is it like it, fashion jadedness? I don't. Travis, what's a hipster? Since you are one, dude. I don't know. <laughs> that term is so broad with certain people, and certain people have it narrowed down to like a specific like dress code. Apparently, it's on, oh, yeah, it's on Wikipedia. Which that's why I'm so confused. It's like. I don't know how they're like, you're a hipster, leave. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, what, like okay, two years well, what ago, did I do? People did, called like, me a hipster and like, what was I doing? Just because I liked to wear a certain thing. I wore a jacket and like, oh, you're a hipster. No, I'm cold. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I'm cold and I'm broke. <laughs> yeah. This jacket from whatever year looks good on me because I like it, not because I'm adhered to some trend or anything like that. Trends are stupid. Yeah. Uh, although we all kind of... Everyone falls into We it. fall into certain I mean, subcultures, and those subcultures yeah. do perpetuate memes and things they like and media that they enjoy, but that doesn't make them a hipster or an asshole. The, their actions make them a hipster or an asshole, apparently. Uh, this is what Wikipedia has to say about it, and I'm going to leave my comments off the board because I don't really give a fuck what a hipster is, but this is what they're, they're talking about here. Hipster refers to a subculture of young, recently settled urban middle-class adults. We're, well, definitely not. We're definitely not hipsters thing, because we no, don't have enough okay. money. You yeah. know what the middle class is, folks? Because you're not it. Uh, especially if you're watching this show. Uh, they're middle class adults, and they're older teenagers that appeared in the 1990s. Really? 
they have just appeared like one day. <laughs> oh, hipsters! They sprung forth from the forest floor. It's <laughs> nigh on the crux of dawn. They're covered in morning dew. Oh, you get a National well, Geographic overlay. You see you what? You see the hipster growing from the field in southern Malaysia. The hipster is a naturally occurring beast that's just started to evolve in the 1990s. Look there, he's wearing a t-shirt with an ironic slogan and tight-fitting jeans. See, and glasses he doesn't need. Sorry, I just wanted to... They, uh, they, they beamed in on their smartphones. <laughs> you know, sometime, you know, within the last, you know, 15 years. Or right, so, okay. <laughs> so, it's a bunch of people that like stuff. That's all that really all of what, that's that's what I'm telling. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, you know, fuck you for liking shit. <laughs> it has been it's been described apparently as a mutating transatlantic melting pot of styles, tastes, and behaviors. So it could be it's fucking like anything. Exactly. What the fuck? It's like, oh, you like that thing. You have maybe, money. You're a hipster. Maybe what's really money. happening is Berlin is just trying to ban people. <laughs> yeah, Berlin doesn't want you anymore unless you're a donut like JFK was. Ich bin ein Berliner. Yeah, that's yeah. what that means. I am a, do a famous donut. <laughs> anyway, uh, there was a donut at the time called the Berliner, and he said, I am the Berliner, instead of saying, I am Berliner. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all. That's whole, funny. Oh, they're kicking boodle. Well, I'm, I'm thoroughly pissed off, so we're going to go ahead and go on a smoke break. We'll see you back soon. Peace! Okay. <laughs> Creatures called graboids that yep. they that they call them in the movie. It's absolutely fucking retarded. Which look nothing like the uh, the case would. Yeah, the box makes you think <laughs> that they're gonna look fucking crazy with huge teeth. They just look like burritos with bird faces. Okay, hello Grimlock. How are you today? Me Grimlock stoned off my ass, but Grimlock can maintain. Well, that's just wonderful. All right. Well, my name's Tom and. I'm going to be interviewing you today for your dating video. Me Are you ready? Really I have some questions written down cubes. here. Oh, oh, oh. Do you have okay, cubes? well, uh, here we go. Um, if you were an animal in the wild, what would you be? Me Grimlock already dinosaur and robot. Me have best of both worlds. Yeah, yes, indeed. <clears throat> what one thing are you craving today? Me Grimlock already asked you for Energon cubes. Now me Grimlock crave punch you in face. What music is in your car or home stereo right now? Me Grimlock love insane clown posse. <laughs> Get back to work! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the thing you've been waiting for. Or probably not. It's called The Situation! I don't know why I thought the I like was... that you pull the knife on the camera. <laughs> I just want them to know how serious this is. I want them to know how, how potentially dangerous this is. Oh man, I thought he was going to poke right through my screen. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm po 3D poking, son. Alright, uh, so what's the situation since I did it last time? Screen. Shut up! Do the situation. He's got a timeline. Okay, uh, he's gotta go dance somewhere <laughs> with Conan. Last night we were watching. Uh, we were watching a Doctor Who episode. Yep. Where they were worshiping this fucking giant squid or whatever. Oh, that was basically a rip off of a of a fucking. Um, it, was it was basically Cthulhu. Yeah, but totally. uh, when they were sacrificing some uh, this this woman, Romana, judge, yeah, the Doctor's assistant. When they were f sacrificing her. That was before they, you know, had actually seen the monster or anything. So there's a guy in like a cartoon like mascot. It's like a he's like the mascot version of <laughs> the, of their their evil lord. He looked like a giant bug <laughs> as opposed to a giant squid. Yeah. Please. Uh, so uh, the situation is light uh, lightly based off that. It's like uh, if you're going to create a a large big headed mascot to worship as a god. What would it be, and why? Uh, please start with him. Oh, why? Because <laughs> you're you're you missed the first show, and I can never forgive yeah, you for that. Okay, well, it's not the first one, but you know it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so if I had to create a giant head costume for a mascot for the god that I worship, yeah, you know how like they've got Snoopies that walk around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Six Everyone's flags. familiar with costume <laughs> car- yes. caricature performance. The exactly. Art. Please go. Um, off the top of the head, giant hot wing with Google eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you, you choose to worship the May fly. I chime in? Be <laughs> not surprised in the goddamn least. Continue. <laughs> because I love hot wings. Easy. <laughs> That's the only reason why. You want to worship a, a, a disembodied chicken part because you love chicken wings. Well, I mean, people worship the sun, and the sun's hot, and hot wings are hot, so <laughs> it's kind of the same. <laughs> Can you give us a chance? That's the worst goddamn <laughs> logic I've chance? ever heard. Not, not right now. It's like, oh, make one oh there might be hot wings. It's probably just like... <laughs> it's probably just like, spicy, spicy. <laughs> Spicy, 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 spicy. Oh, great God of the chicken wing. Buffalo, garlic, buffalo. When, when you are mild, you give us cold breezes in the mouth. When you are spicy, lo, the fields do burn with our shitey diarrhea. Thank you, disembodied chicken god. Oh, oh, spicy, chicken, vegetable, spicy. Chicken, vegetable, <laughs> You gotta remember uh. that the, the, the giant wing has Google eyes too. <laughs> yeah. Googly eyes. See, I can accept, I can see accepting a hug from a giant chicken it's wing at a, at a baseball or basketball game. But perhaps. it's but it's also covered in buffalo sauce, so it gets, makes a mess out of everyone. That's else. hilarious. <laughs> it's like getting slimed by your favorite mascot. Or yeah. he's got he's got white gloves that he can't touch himself with. <laughs> always like that's why he's always got. His, and it gives him reason to poke people in the boobs. Might as well hug you. <laughs> Okay, so that's the dumbest uh, goddamn answer I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah, I know, I know. I the art. The Very nice. Hey, I, I asked the question. You gotta go before. Well, me. Uh, seeing as how I think the deity worship is foolish and also very childish, oh, yeah. it's gonna be difficult for me to ascertain an answer to this. So I'm just gonna completely just bullshit it. It'd probably be a giant fucking cheeseburger, like you know, another food god. <laughs> yeah, hey. I mean, we all gotta eat, right? We all eat, we all shit, we have to be familiar with those things, so it'd probably be a giant McDonald's cheeseburger, because that's what exactly what they make be. you do, take a huge shit. It should be a hamburger that shits. That Little way hamburgers. It, it symbolizes the whole, the whole cycle, man. He's a giant hamburger that doesn't have an eyes or a face, he just opens up his like giant ketchup maw like, bah, eat me! And then <laughs> the, just, the pickles the tongue. Yeah, yeah, and, he's, <laughs> and he spits out, or shits out, as you said, from somewhere in behind him. And there's no real back to a burger. I guess it's the end that op- doesn't open up, uh, where it hinges. That's where the other burgers will be dispensed. So they'll come out in little, you know, wrapped tinfoil, not tinfoil, well, tinfoil wrapped packages. There you go. So, yeah. And the chant will probably be something like, Oh, hail to the high-calorie food. <laughs> oh, yeah, you bring us pickles and cheese and hamburger meat. Well, you have to say an all-beef patty. All-beef patty, special <laughs> sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Easy. I don't know. That sounds like I'm worshipping Big Mac, but well, fuck Big Mac. <clears throat> Man. That's all I got to say. Okay, so we got two. two yeah, so that leaves the them. guy who actually came up with the stupid shit. <laughs> Thanks uh, to me. Well, sorry for making you watch Doctor Who, but it's a great show. Anyway, continue. All right. Let's see. If I had to make a big costumed character <laughs> that would in turn be worshipped as a god, yeah. I think I would go for something that, well, at least in fiction, is already worshipped as a god. I want to do the, the Shalamud. The big worm from you mean Dune. Shy Halud? Whatever. <laughs> right. Shalamud. That sounds like Shalamud. Sounds like a Shal-Halud. song. Shalamud. Shalamud sounds like a song from like some failed band from the Detroit big big whatever era. It sounds like a. I don't know. Yeah. Music like degree. A, yeah. <laughs> big. I don't know. Like, oh, yeah. like it'd be a, a Morrissey song. Motown. <laughs> it sounds like a Motown, a failed Motown project. Shy Malud or whatever you said. So Shy Halud would be here. It's a giant fucking sandworm. Yeah. Yeah, so, but uh, it's, it's but it's yeah, still gonna yeah. Have, yeah, but it's still gonna have like the uh, the little uh, hands. It's, it's gonna ha- you gotta have hands. My burger did not. It didn't. My wing no. did. It was just a giant <laughs> floppy burger that shat little burgers. I guess you the guy would have guy inside would have had to have had his hands in there to be able to operate the yeah, burger. So maybe. No, no so uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't say making. It has to be like a good. In my world, the hamburger is a god. Sorry. Continue. So, you know, he's got the 
He's just a big worm. He's <laughs> <laughs> just a big worm. <laughs> then what's the, like, what's the benefit of this god? Like, what, what's he giving what? you? Does he shelter you from rain with burgers? No. Man, he, he just kind of worms around. <laughs> Does he give anyone the, the spice? Or he the... talks in a high-pitched voice. <laughs> Ah! It would be weird to see a giant wiggly worm with arms that has a nasty crater face just going, Hi! The arms are only there for waving and hugging! <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to be hugged by Shy Halud. Oh, well, yeah, you know. Sounds but great. It's got to be, it also has to be tall, though. Right. Yeah, it's like there has to be a lot of extra space up there where it's kind of like, it's basically it like, a, like a big slinky kind <laughs> of thing where it's down. like boing, boing, boing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really psyched about it right now. <laughs> I would, I don't know what I'd do if I saw that. You'd probably worship it. <laughs> Maybe, I would immediately check. If you knew what was good with it for you, you would <laughs> drop that fucking I would wing immediately, guy. I would immediately <laughs> check any food I was eating to make sure little versions of that weren't in it. And then I'd oh. probably just wash myself every three seconds for the rest of my life. Hey, that makes my god the superior god, because my god could lay eggs in your gods. <laughs> and then... You would be pooping those gods for. <laughs> You'd be pooping those goblets. godchildren. Pooping little goblets. <laughs> Globlets of goblets. <laughs> Globlets of goblets. Well, my brain is sufficiently destroyed for the evening. I hope yours is too, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evan signing off. D Hard, do you have anything to say? No. Obviously. Travis. I just want to say to everyone, Terra de Lou. Terra de Lee. Terra de Lie. <laughs> I am one with the Bob. Are you? Of course. Peace.